Hello Year 10 and welcome to your online lessons. We've been working through our Excel topic and covering a number of exercises, all showing different types of features and formulas to help you be ready for your assignment. Now, on sector are all of the exercises that we have gone and done. What I want you to do is to look at all of them, to remind yourself how to do them, and the ones that you have not done, I would actually like you to do, so that when you come to your assignment, you have all the skills to have a go at it. So here's our first one, which is the student allowance calculator. Now I know that we did one before that, which was the shopping list, but that really was a year nine type of thing where you could just type in the numbers, put in the formulas, and I know that all of you can do that. This is the one where things start to be different, and this is where we would put in those check boxes, we would do some copy and paste special, and we did some different formulas. So I'll show you how to do it, and I'm gonna fast forward uh, where there's some repeats, and I want you to just to follow along as well, or at least to watch it. If you need to do it again, by all means do so. Anyway, let's get on with this. So our first one is where we would need to put in our check boxes. So I'm in the developer tab and you'll need to make sure that your developer tab is there. And we went into um, Excel um, and we, once we were in there, we went to preferences and then we went to ribbon and then that's developer. If you are using a Windows one, it's going to be a little different. You'll need to go into File and Options and you'll need to find it there. Okay, so here I am in my Developer tab and we're going to need those check boxes. So here's my check box and I'm going to click in here. And what I did was I said, right, we're going to have this one called Clean Room. So I'm going to go and put do that. And I put in Clean Room. And I'm going to click off and we have that. Now, again, remembering if you are in a Windows one, you've got uh, two types. You want the form, you don't want the active. So you look for the form check box, not the active one. Now I'm here, I'm going to right click. I'm going to go uh, format control. And once I'm in that, uh, I want to make it sure it's unticked and I want to click the link cell. So the link cell is where we're going to see it either true or false. So that's going to be in the data tab and it's going to be this one up here. So I'm, here's my clean room. I'm going to see true or false here. So I click, let's expand it again and everything is fine. So I click OK. OK, let's just check that because whatever you do, it's important to make sure that every step is tested. So I'm going to go into here and what I should see under data is true. And there you see it, it's true. You might want to just make sure that all of these are centered. So that might be something. And I'm going to go back to the developer. Okay, so that's good. So let's go back to the AC sheet. And what I want to say is essentially that if it's true, I want this number and I want this number to appear in here. So the two and the 30. If it's false, I want them to be zero. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to select here. So remember, we've got the dollars here. In here, I'm going to go to function X. I'm going to look for an if statement. I'm going to insert that function. And I'm saying if this cell, for me, C6, if that's true, then if that is true, I want to have this. If it's false, I want it to be zero. Let's click done. Okay, so at the moment it's true, so it's showing. So let's see what happens if I turn that off. We should see zero. And we do. So that's a good start. So again, I'm going to go and center actually these next two rows. And let's go back to home and let's go to center 
and that's good. Okay, last one. So here I am. We can see it's set to false now. I'm going to go for time. Again, I want the if statement, insert function, and if this is, if it was true, which it isn't, I would like to have this number showing, the 30. Else, it's going to be zero. Click done. Okay, so I'm into AC. I can see that the tick is off, so it's false. So we should see zero, zero. And if I tick it, we should see two and 30. So tick, go to data, two and 30. Okay, so what I'm gonna go and do now is the others. I'm going to fast speed it. So you, obviously you can pause at any point. And then when we come on to the calculations, I'll slow the video down and talk to you about those. All right, see you in a short while.
Okay, so that took a little bit of time and I hope you got to that point. So now let's go over to data. And we need to add up. So we're going to use a sum function. So let's go back into home. And we're going to go to fx. And we're looking for sum. Now if you can't find it, it's up. You type it up here. I've got sum insert function. And you can see that it's automatically gone and done all that. So I'm going to click done. And as you'd expect, the total would be zero. And I'm going to fill down. So I could do the sum function here. But I'm just going to go over to this little red dot, drag down sum function. Now then, over and back to AC. And what we want to do is we want to essentially put the totals in here and in here. And so what we'll do is we'll use a copy and paste special. So we're going to go back into data and we're looking for the allowance. That's the money. I'm going to select. I'm going to go copy back into AC into allowance and paste special paste link. So we're going to go paste special and paste link and click OK. Then we're going to go back into data. We're going to go to here now, and we're going to go copy, back into here, back into time, right click, paste special, paste, uh, sorry, paste special, down to paste special. Let's look for paste link, and there we go. So how would that work? Well, if I go to clean room, let's say we turn this on, what should turn up here? are two dollars and 30 minutes so let's have a look at that clean room there we go two minutes sorry two dollars and 30 minutes let's turn that off now then what we need to do we need to find how many it is in for the hour so that's going to be all of the time divided by 60 okay so it's going to be this divided by 60 so we're going to go equals we're going to go this divided by and divided by is forward slash and is 60 and press enter. So let's go and add a few things up. Let's go and do uh, 30 minutes of this, 30 minutes of vacuum. And that's what we should get. We've got 60 minutes, which equates to one hour. Last thing is this. What do we need to do? We need to have the allowance divided by hours if that's correct but if there's an error we're going to get a zero so we're going to go into here and we're looking for not i error but if error so we go to here and this time we'll definitely need to put if in and we should see all those beginning with if and we're going to go if error insert Okay, so what we want to do is we want to have um, the allowance divided by uh, the time. So what we're going to do, we're going to have in here, we're going to have the allowance divided by the hours. So allowance divided by the hours. If there's an error, return zero and click done. So now we should have a fully working system so we can add up all the jobs we've done and we can get a value. Now, here's a little challenge for you. See if you can reduce the number of decimal places. You'll need to go to uh, format cells and you'll need to go into number and see if you can figure it out from there. Okay, I've done it for you, but I'm sure you can have a go at doing that as well. Okay, so well done. That's our first one. We're going to show you a few more videos. Um, have a look at it again. Remind yourself about checkboxes. Remind yourselves about paste and paste, a copy and paste special. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.